How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know... We can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? I think I'm gonna send Toad to the farm. Toad, come here. Because as nice as I've been to him all the way through, he's been a total dickhead to me. Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. I didn't cause any damage. I'm sure you've though. got your own agenda, Sheriff. But I've taken a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours, and now it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, Total, the gaping mall in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm okay. not looking for a handout. Oh, I should have got Crane's money. Of course, I'm giving yeah. that. Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. Got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. No, please, Toad, just fucking behave. Please. I am so lucky I picked up the money. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean... I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Don't worry, I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> That's smolder though. Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Good job, Bumkin. Bumkin? Buffkin. Bumkin. I have to say, Fuck. I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. That's a good rhyme. He's very good. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh, she can... Just happened. Mess with the mirror. You're in the wrong direction. 
looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. So Quinn's off to Paris. To focus on the immediate threat. And Bloody Mary can sense the mirror? Whoa, that's fucking Big mad. B, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Just show me where I can find the crooked man. Oh, I, I thought he was going to just go with the well rhyme. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to crooked man's domain. I can always count on you. Buffkin. Good guy, Buffkin. I don't recognize the door, but that's the crooked man's symbol on it. Hold off. Oh, it's moving. I know where that is, though. So I'm pretty sure that's in Button Pie. It moves. It looks like the yeah, Button Pie. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. Is it Button Pie? It's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Big B, wait. I thought that was the when you get the door to the back room. Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be oh, like it was him. with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. I thought that was the back door to the room in um, the pudding and pie. Guess I was hugely wrong. God, I hope that bringing him back alive is a good idea. And that he can't weasel his way out of everything because he seems like a weasel. All right, foreshadowing on the first episode, because you see that on the at the start of the very first episode. Oh shit, we're gonna see him. We're gonna see him now. I'm gonna peek, examine the door. That's it, all right. Oh, I'm so nervous. I thought I'm gonna kick it. I don't want to piss him off. Oh. Sheriff, I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Oh, Tiny Tim. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. I suppose I can be nice to him, although he's going to be like a uh, flycatcher and be seriously like unknowledgeable of the situation and think that everyone's going to be good when they're really actually. Total Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... He's not as bad as you think. Mm, told he you. doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have him. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not 
so bad. Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Oh, we're from. I don't wanna unnecessarily Thanks. piss him off. Am I some kind of fucking joke to you? What did I tell you? My god, it's Georgie. Oh, yeah? Go ahead. You got a job to do. Sheriff Wolf, sir. <laughs> Where's your brother, D? Where's your brother? Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. Fucked up with his face. Go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We oh, shows Vivian from the Bun as well. Um, all right, let's have a chat. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. No, no, don't end. No, no, don't be the end game, please, please don't, don't, don't. Oh, I think it is. Oh, come on! Oh, we we'll finally made him. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <coughs> Fuck, man! I really wanted to play on. Did you send Colin to the farm? 85.5% of players decided to send Colin. I decided Colin should not go to the farm. Well, I actually didn't decide. I said Snow might come around, so it's not a guarantee. Did you attempt to remove Narissa's ribbon? 63.8% did not attempt. That's good. That's good. Which crooked operation did you investigate first? 63% went to... The cut above, wow. I, 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 wait, it's so. Not 50 50, but it's a lot closer to 50 50 than. What? I was expecting that to be about 50 50, so that's a bit odd. Did you send Toad to the farm? 73.3% of players did not go to. Should, bleh, decided Toad should not go to the farm. How did you respond to the crude man? 41% of players agreed to talk, wow. Unreasonable, some people. You have to hear everybody out. But anyway, guys. Fuck. That. We finally found the crooked man. He's got, like, this huge web of connection. And everyone just believes that he's a good guy. And I'm just like, no, no, you're not. You're a bad guy. But anyway. Uh, I think me and Snow are cool. I think I mean everybody's kind of cool at the minute. I haven't. I went through that episode being kind of nice to everybody. I mean, I was a dick to people when they would shut up talking like the butcher, but still. I didn't make any promises or guarantees. I just said I would help. That's not a promise. I didn't say I promised I would help. So hopefully, I've done everything okay. Sorry if this episode was also a bit uh, lacking of my, my talking. But uh, like I said, like I said, it was really, really dialogue heavy. 
and I just thought maybe she'd want to hear it all because everything was really important in that episode. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching guys. If you want to leave a like and a comment if you want and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you all in the next episode which is the finale. So, see you later guys. Bye.